Well, this morning is, uh, is a really hard one. Because it's a definite, I definitely have to go help a family member, which means all my activities here have got to stop. Unfortunately, my mother has cancer and I'm going to have to go help her. I love my mother dearly and I would no more leave her without help than I would cut off my own arm. So, what I'm going to do today is concentrate on getting everything transplanted and get ready to sell it all. I'll put it out on Facebook and put it out everywhere. Every single plant except the few, like the uh, blueberry and the cinnamon, everything has got to go. And I've got to start packing up, packing up the lights and packing up the greenhouse. It's sad and it's really rough and it's tough to accept, but it'll be okay. At least, I can I can look on some positives. I've never lived in I've never lived in uh, anywhere near Vegas. <laughs> I've never lived in a desert environment, and it is somewhere new. It's definitely somewhere new. I'm glad to have that kind of experience. And there is lots of hope for my mom. So I'm very glad I'll be able to be there for her. So. Let's see how today goes. Well, well, well. It's the bike. Good morning, beautiful people. And good morning, beautiful pile of compost. This is the only pile of compost I did not have to, uh, I actually had delivered instead of, uh, instead of went and got myself. Oh, it smells so lovely. It smells good. Mmm, nice, soft, and still wet enough to clump. Perfect for today's planting. Oop. It is Saturday. So, Ooh. besides people coming to uh, buy plants today, I am going to have to transplant and a couple of repairs I have to do on the hose. Let's see. Let's look at the coffee. Ah, hello peppers. You look good. These look good. And uh, a lot of these, most of these are ready for transplant. Actually, I think all of them are ready. Yep, all the parsley has true leaves. The lettuce has true leaves. Marigolds. Yeah, everybody's ready for transplant. The uh, German chamomile even looks like it's happy. So, uh, I guess I'll get... I'll get some of these babies out in the sun. And then I'll... Start transplanting. Just, uh, yeah. You just stay. You guys stay there for me for a little while, huh?
free wedding. This is great. we go through for our plants. Four, five, Ooh, one more. cold and wet but I swear some of these tomatoes they're getting sold today well 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 what do we have here we have empty shelving space where did all the babies go I'll show you I switched to beer. Because I got a hundred and sixty babies 
planted. Didn't make much of a dent in the compost, did I? Here's my, uh, my front now. So, what do I have available for sale? I have kale and chard. Green chard. I have green chard and red chard. And I can split these packs up if you like. I have bachelor buttons. I have German chamomile. I have mustard. I have bib lettuce. These are all my personal, my little personal babies. I got, uh, I got all my little mini bok choy planted today. And everybody else. All the mustard, all the broccoli. Oh, they're looking amazing. And up there in the brand new hanging basket is some peppermint. What else do I have? Well, I have Martian tomatoes. And I have Thorburn tomatoes. I have one little cayenne pepper. I will have more in the season. And then I have lots, one, two, three, four, five poblano peppers. I have pumpkins. I have yellow squash. I have scallop squash. Then I have, for flowers, I have African daisies, purple zinnias, and I have some peppermint. Three cups of peppermint. I believe that is what I have right now, although these here are definitely available. They just need to be transplanted into, uh, into some other cups, and I'm working on that. I have marigolds, more chamomile. I have lots of curled parsley. More bachelor buttons. I have forget-me-not flowers. And over here I have more tomatoes. I have more, two more packs of uh, Thorburn tomatoes and I have Martian tomatoes. I also have Thai eggplant. I have Genovese basil and I have mammoth basil. Uh, these morning glories are mine. <laughs> I have black pansies. I have balsam. This is the peppermint version of balsam. More forget-me-nots. I have Q Blue Salpiglossus. Beautiful, big blue ruffled flowers. The milkweed goes in my garden. I have lemon balm. This is mandarin orange lemon balm more black and more black pansies back here so I do have a range of flowers herbs and vegetables and of course the Sun comes out <laughs> hello cherry Everything is doing amazing. I have absolutely no fungal infections. I have no insect infections, including aphid infections. Um, I am, right now, I am using pretty much exclusively Dr. Earth fertilizer. So when these get transplanted, they get an appropriate amount of Dr. Earth fertilizer in the pot. And you are more than welcome to um, ask me what else I fertilize my plants with, and I will be happy to show you. Ah, it's been about four days. 
since I planted the Sharpita peppers. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. Well, I see some cracks from when I moved, but that doesn't matter. They are growing second leaves like crazy. Good babies. And nobody looks cold. That's excellent. You guys are a little slow, but then it is a little chilly. You do have plenty of uh, food and water. Though. Lillian's doing nice. All right. Let's see what's happened since I planted yesterday. Uh, bib lettuce looks good. Custard looks good. It's good. Good, good. Quick check of the greenhouse. Hello, everybody. Look at this. Uh, oh, yeah. Limp limp but you know pumpkins don't like the cold everybody in here looks pretty happy actually i'm done with that i should take it in here we go african daisies happy peppermint happy zinnias mostly happy somebody has a curled leaf over here i don't think it's and I don't think it's fatal. I think it's just a, a little something. Ah, and this has a, a seed left on it. I'm just gonna leave that alone. I transplanted them yesterday. I don't want to. I don't want to stress them out. Tomatoes, how you doing? Good. Everybody good? Anybody got any complaints? Cause uh, you know, at this hotel, we give out free food and water. Peppers. Uh, cayenne, no second leaf yet. But, oh, there it is. There it is. It's that I can see the second leaf. I don't know if you can see the second leaf. I can see the second leaf. It's good. Second leaf's on the uh, on the uh, poblanos. Very nice. What else is okay. The milkweed is kind of going nuts because milkweed is supposed to go nuts because it's technically a weed, but. I'll get them out for the butterflies as soon as I can. Basil. And the basil's starting to get a little stressed. I'm starting to see a few spots. And these are starting to get a little mottled, which means they're uh, they're probably running out of food. That's okay. That's okay. These uh, spots where they uh, still had the seeds on them, that's okay. All right. And these, uh, these still need, uh, lots of stuff still needs to be planted. <sighs> but, you know, one thing at a time. Well, I said that it'd be about a week. It's been over, oh, it's been well over a week since I started the black bamboo. I'm going to see how it's doing. I am not insanely impressed by the the whole bag idea because I can see spots where I should not see spots and even the hydrogen peroxide didn't you know keep them from forming is there any any growth any growth at oh ah. not sure you can see it so put it down here I see growth there that could go, but I don't see any growth on any of the others at all. So I tell you what I'm going to do. 
I'm gonna plant this one. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a pair of, well, I guess I don't really need a pair of tweezers. I'll just plant that one now. Let's see. Let's get. pretty big. That's pretty big. I don't want to, I don't want it to feel like it's a uh, trim. I'll have to go get a cup. All right, back with sound. Here we go. And delicately there. Cover it. With a bit of stuff. Hopefully, it's not too much. And there. Ah, come on. I'm still hoping those other black bamboo are gonna sprout. Their ends have swelled, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I need another pen. Another pen. Bamboo planted. Three eight transplanted three twenty. It's been about twelve days. Okay, a little bit of water back in here. These, uh, I th I'm gonna put them back in the plastic and. Although, I mean, it, it really is a shame, but. I don't have the time today to continue this particular project, so I will find another little planting medium for them, some more cocoa coir, and put the rest of them in there and free them from their plastic prison.
pumpkin four, pumpkin five. Oh. I'm just getting soil everywhere. Come on, come on. Wow, round containers are difficult. Come on, no, kind of, sort of, not maybe. Oh. Come on. Please come out. Please. Oh, I'll be lucky if this one makes it. So the ribbed container was not a good planting choice. is tough. homes.
I am very tired. Always remember, pat down your first handful of potting soil and you won't lose it outside the holes. Boy, I sure do hate losing these pots. They have been super useful. But I can't just stick them in storage and not use them for however long it's going to take me to get through this. or not, believe it or not, I still don't know if this is actually a shockwave pansy, a uh, shockwave petunia or not. I guess I'll just pot it up and see what happens. <sighs> 